Good morning. Winsco finally stepped up to the big leagues. That one? <laughs> Hasn't figured it out yet. <clears throat> Oh yeah.
better grab my coffee and move to a safe spot. That ain't like standing in front of the caterpillar while it's molting. That thing shoots it everywhere. All right, guys. So today is officially our first day of running the mulcher on the excavator. It was just delivered to us yesterday. Um, so the company I bought the excavator from, which was uh, May Heavy Equipment in Columbia, uh, we also ordered a Dennis Seamoth with the excavator, as you guys can tell. And earlier this week, they picked it up. They got it all hooked up and mounted. They had to build a custom mount for it. Now it can tilt like 90 degrees, and you can tilt it up and down. It's got a door on it to control where the mulch is flying. Um, so I've watched a lot of videos of these excavators and mulchers, and uh, those guys make it look kind of easy. So. This isn't like running one on a skid steer. This is gonna take a little practice to make it look like um, you know what you're doing, so. Pretty impressive though. Um, that pine tree he was taking down was maybe, I'd say that was about a six inch tree at the top. So that thing's pretty cool though. It, uh, it's very functional. There's uh, a few tricks to these things too, I've noticed. Um, I'm gonna flip it back over and talk, that way you guys can watch it. There's a few things I've no noticed about these things. Um, obviously, you know, the drum spins in one direction. So sometimes you can grab uh, like the lighter part, the top of the tree, like a pine tree for instance, and you can, um, it'll actually suck it in like a vacuum cleaner and pick it up off the ground. So I've seen a lot of guys do that. And uh, that's a really cool trick to just finish cleaning up the top of a tree. It literally mulches it in one shot because it, it'll it just suck it up in the back side of the mulcher. Um, another cool thing too is, uh, you know, obviously the way this mulcher is designed, you flip the door up and then you can tilt it like 90 degrees and uh, it'll cut the top of a tree off, which Kind of looks like that's what he's trying to do right now, actually. I don't think he's figured out the top, the whole topping portion of it, but yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, that's impressive. I'm real bad about doing this. I promised my wife I wasn't gonna work. I was just gonna come here and help him uh, get the mulcher head off um, so he could uh, put the bucket back on it because we've never put this mulcher head on or off and I told my wife I said no I'm not gonna work I'm just gonna help him switch the attachment and I'll come back home and here I am for 30 minutes already just having fun I mean I'm working I'm, I'm working that's what I'm doing working if I get you guys a better view. We have too much fun. That's a bigger tree there. Oh yeah.
Man, that's stout. Well guys, I gotta get back to it, but I uh, just wanna show you a quick little video. I was gonna wait till Monday, but it's kinda hard to do that, so. <laughs> oh, getting ready to take a little stump out. <laughs> 